all of Song Ye Kyo's Korean dramas. Song Ye Kyo has been in the Korean entertainment industry for a very long time. Being featured in numerous dramas, as well as playing memorable roles with her acting prowess, has made her one of the best Korean drama actresses of all time. That's why in this video, we'll be looking at all Korean dramas, Song Ye Kyo has been casted on, from her debut to the present day. And if you are down with that, then let's jump right into it, shall we? Early Career in 1996, Song Ye Kyo started her entertainment industry journey. She won first place at Sungkyung Smart Model Contest when she was just 14 years old, and later, debuted as a model for the school uniform company. This paved a way for her getting an offer to become a supporting role for her first television drama, First Love. Since then, she would continue to be casted in small roles in numerous dramas, as well as being featured in various sitcoms, but it wasn't until her first ever leading role that rose her to fame not just in South Korea, but also all over Asia. Autumn in My Heart also known as, Endless Love, is a 2000 KBS romance drama where Song Ye Kyo had her first ever leading role. Being starred with Song Sung Hun, Won Bin, and Han Na Na, she played the role of Yoon Eun Soo. Because of a car accident, Eun Soo's family discovered that she has a different blood type from them. This later revealed that Eun Soo is not really their daughter, but rather a daughter from another family, because she was separated from them, due to an accidental mix-up in the hospital where she was born. Because of this, Eun Soo's life went upside down, and was returned back to her real family. Soon after, the Yoon family left for the States, leaving Eun Soo behind, living in petty conditions with her real family in South Korea. Years later, his brother, Yoon Jun Soo returned to South Korea, and by chance, the two former siblings were reunited, and fell in love with each other. Autumn in My Heart became Song Ye Kyo's breakout drama, skyrocketing her into fame status. Hotelier After the success of her first leading role, she is featured again in another drama with MBC's romance drama Hotelier, being starred alongside Bae Young Joon, Song Yoon Ah, and Kim Sung Woo. The drama revolves around the lives and romances of the employees of Seoul Hotel, a fictional hotel that undergoes a massive and expensive renovation. Song Ye Kyo played as Kim Yoon Hee, one of the employees of Seoul Hotel. When the owner of Seoul Hotel passes away, the employees help each other to keep the hotel from falling away, and stop their rival from acquiring it. Guardian Angel it is a 2001 SBS romance drama where Song Ye Kyo is casted with Kim Min Jong, Min Kim, and Yoon Da Hoon. In this drama, Song Ye Kyo played as Jong Da So. When her pregnant friend gives birth then dies after a car accident, she raises her child as her own. Da So is an orphan, so she endures the stigma of being a single mother, in order for her daughter to have a family. He meets Ha Tae Wong, who was raised by his uncle after his mother died, and has never met his father. Da So and Tae Wong meet as employees of Wu Ri Company, whose president is Tae Wong's father. Through a twist of fate, Da So sees both the best and worst in human nature. All In It is a Korean crime melodrama series that aired on SBS in 2003, starring Song Ye Kyo, Lee Byung Hoon, Park Sol Mi, and Ji Sung. The drama tells the story of Kim In Ha, a high school student who follows his uncle's footsteps, and cheats in gambling. And Choi Jung Wan, a model student, who's in Ha attempts to do despicable things. Song Hai Kyo plays the role of Min Soo Yeon, the love interest of In Ha and Jung Wan, and as they try to take revenge for Soo Yeon's father, their life spirals into very different directions. Song Ye Kyo's popularity continues to climb because of this drama, as it drew solid viewership ratings in South Korea throughout its run, with a peak viewer rating of 47 7.7%. Rays of Sunshine Also known as Sunlight Pours Down, is a 2004 melodrama series starring Song Ye Kyo, Jo Yun Jae, and Ru Sung Bom. Song Ye Kyo plays the role of Ji Yan Woo. After the mysterious death of her father, Yan Woo's mother remarries again. As misfortune strikes fatally, her mother died of Wilson's disease, and her stepfather ran away with money. Her life has gone awry since then. One day, she saw Ju Noon Sop fall in the subway track, after running away from a bunch of goons. She saves his life. As a form of thanksgiving, Eun Sop asks Yan Wu to stay in his house temporarily. Full House In the same year, Song Ye Kyo is featured again in another big hit K-drama Full House. 
co-starred with singer Jung Ji-hoon, popularly known as Rain. This romantic comedy series tells the story of Han Ji-hoon, being played by Song Hye-kyo, an aspiring scriptwriter who lives in a house built by her late father, called Full House. One day, her two best friends trick her into believing she has won a free vacation and sell her house while she's away. On the plane, she meets famous actor Lee Young-jae. Through comedic events, they get acquainted during her vacation, and when she returns, she discovers her house has been sold to him. And in order to buy the house back, she works for him as a maid. However, for the purpose of making his love interest jealous, Young Jae and Ji Hoon agree to a contract marriage, and decide to live together as a couple. The drama went popular across Asia, establishing Song Hye Kyo as one of the popular Korean actresses in the continent. If you are enjoying this video so far, let me know by clicking the subscribe button below. It would be a big help for me to create more videos like this in the future. Thank you for your support. The world that they live in. After a hiatus, Song Ye Kyo comes back with another drama series with the world that they live in, being paired with popular actor Yun Bin. In this drama, she played as Ju Jun Young, an aspiring producer who works hard in her way in the male-dominated profession of drama creators. She meets Jung Ji Oh, her mentor, who treats he harshly and makes her life miserable. But later, Ji Oh discovers Jun Hyung's hard work and passion for the job, and he also discovers that he has fallen in love with her. That winter, the wind blows, is a South Korean romantic melodrama television series that aired on the KBS 2 channel in 2013, starring Song Ye Kyo, Jo In Sung, Kim Boom, and Jun Eun Ji. Song Ye Kyo played the role of Oh Young, a legally blind heiress of a conglomerate. She has been estranged from her mother and older brother since she was a child. One day, a gambler, Oh Su, aims to scam her, into pretending he is her older brother, and steal her wealth. However, because of having relative life experience, Oh Su starts to have feelings for Oh Young. That winter, The Wind Blows placed number one in its time slot during most of its run. And because of her fantastic performance in the drama, Song Ye Kyo won the Grand Prize Award for Television at the second APAN Star Awards. Descendants of the Sun in 2016, Song Ye Kyo starred in the mega hit romance melodrama series Descendants of the Sun. She is casted together with Song Jong Ki, Jin Gu, and Kim Ji Won. It is an intense love story between a resident doctor and a special forces soldier. Song Ye Kyo is Dr. Kong Mo Yan, a talented cardiothoracic surgeon. One day, she meets soldier Yu Shi Jin, after an unusual but yet funny encounter in the hospital. They soon dated each other. However, they find it challenging to have time for each other as Si Jin is being called every single time for his soldier duties, and both have opposite principles to behold. For Mo Yan, it is to do everything to save lives, while for Shi Jin, it is to kill to protect lives. The drama became incredibly popular not just in South Korea but also throughout Asia, re-establishing Song Ye Kyo as a leader of the Hallyu wave once again. She also won the Grand Prize Award, along with Song Jong Ki, in 2016 KBS Drama Awards, because of their wonderful performance. Encounter Song Ye Kyo's first TVN drama, a Korean drama series, being led by her and Park Bo Goom. In this drama, Song Ye Kyo played as Cha Soo Yun, a politician's daughter. After graduating college, she was forced into an arranged marriage to the son of a conglomerate, a marriage only beneficial to her politician father. Soon after, she gets divorced. Her life is changed further when she meets Kim Jin Hyuk, an ordinary and innocent young man, who enjoys life and finds happiness in the smaller things. He works various part-time jobs to earn a living, but is looking for a regular job. One day, he decides to take a trip abroad, where he meets Cha Soo Yun. Now we are breaking up. It's 2021 and Song Ye Kyo is still going strong. Now We Are Breaking Up is a romantic drama television series starring Song Ye Kyo, Jang Ki Young, Choi Hee So, and Kim Ju Hun. It is a drama series where Song Ye Kyo played as Ha Young Un, a popular and talented fashion designer of a top fashion company in South Korea. She was so good at what she does, but when it comes to love, it is a different story. She always comes across as cold-hearted, and prioritizes stability over all else. But everything changed when she met Yoon Jae Kook, a popular freelance fashion photographer. Rich, handsome, and intelligent. A perfect man indeed. Young Un and Jay Cook find themselves falling for each other. But not all fairy tales have a happy ending. Is there's a story that will end in heartbreak or will they manage to find their own version of happily ever after, after all? The Glory this is the latest Song Ye Kyo drama that is actually set for a second season. 
The Glory is a 2023 Netflix original series starring Song Ye Kyo, Lee Du Yun, and Lim Ji Yan. Song Ye Kyo plays the role of Moon Da Moon, a high school student who is a victim of brutal school violence. She dropped out of school because of it. Years later, Da Moon became an elementary school teacher, and became the homeroom teacher of the child of the perpetrator of bullying. And with this, she starts her revenge towards the perpetrators and bystanders of her bullying days. The Glory became one of the best Korean dramas of 2023 so far being praised by the viewers and critics indeed. Which is your most favorite Song Ye Kyo drama series? Comment it down below and let's talk about it. Want more videos like this? Check this video right now.